So I'm often asked about uh, right hand technique and uh, you know playing fluently and playing you know over sort of rapid tempos and stuff. Um, the truth of it is, and I say this to, to all my students, um, a lot of the time it's about playing slowly and developing something. And then when you're playing fast, you don't really have to think about playing fast per se. You know, you're just comfortable doing it. Um, so I always practice almost everything. Well, I think everything I do slowly to begin with. So if I was taking um, just a simple triad, like an F major triad, I would play it like this. I'd be going F, A, C, F, A, C. Now, notice two things about that. I'm playing it as if it was on a gig in terms of trying to get a good sound, not just kind of sitting in front of the TV or whatever or zoning out and kind of half arsing the way I'm playing it. I'm really trying to make each note sound good. You know, shift cleanly, making a nice sound on that last note on the C here. Yeah, we're on a yeah. Same thing with the right hand, and this is one of the key things. I think keeping the right hand close to the strings is really important. Uh, there was a phrase I was playing uh, over the uh, up-tempo kind of altered blues you heard before, and it was something like a... I'm, this kind of thing. When I'm doing these kind of rapid things, I'm keeping my hand really close to the strings at all times, you know, because if you're playing something fast, you don't want to be moving the fingers away and then them having to come all the way back to the string. So a simple way to practice that, just take something like an arpeggio. Let's do, uh, let's do the F major one again. I'm actually going to start on the major seven here and the pattern is going to be... That's what I'm doing there. Now you can see as I do that, my thumb is resting on the E string. So that's automatically keeping the, e, the B pretty damp because the B has this tendency to ring sympathetically when you're playing the upper strings. So that's where I'm starting off from, that starting position on the bass. And then when I get into playing the idea, see I hop up to the next string, and then I come back down. So the thumb is just skipping over the string like that. And these two fingers are staying really close. You can actually see on my fingertips here, kind of the contact where the pad of the, of the fingers is hitting the string. I've got these fairly thick calluses there. And I'm not catching it right where the nail is. Some guys do this and I think they get a slightly more clicky attack. I'm actually getting a little more contact with the pad here. So and so on. And you can see as I do this, again, you know, I'm keeping the fingers close to the strings. And it's the same for both hands. Always keep the hands close to the strings.